Canal art. This is the term used to describe the style of decorative painting that is used on items associated with canals and narrowboats. We've all seen the watering cans and buckets that have been transformed from boring tin objects to beautifully painted floral designs. Roses and castles are the most common styles, romantic dreamy castles high on hills. Some paintings depicted medieval ruins, rivers, and lakes, and wooded mountainous landscape etc. This trend or movement emerged in or around the 1850s, but little is known, where and how the influence came about. It is thought they were simplified versions of 17th and 18th century romantic paintings, containing many of the elements that would, in time, come to characterize narrow boat painting. Many poor families escaped life in slums by living and working on Britain's new canal industry. A new life for them, a lifestyle that nobody had ever experienced. They often had little or no possessions, and what they did have, would have been drab, and small enough to take on board their new home called a narrowboat. The narrowboats were not built for luxury, their purpose was to transport goods on the canals that had been cut through Britain. The families that lived on board would have been considered itinerants, a traveling community, home educated at the best, but mostly worked on the boat, or leading the horse that pulled the boat, along the towpath. The one and only room that the entire family lived in was called the boatman's cabin. Cargo was the priority, not accommodation, so the room itself was no more than 10 feet long by 6 feet wide and comprised a bed, chair, stove, work surface and a potty for the toilet. So, it was important for morale that this space was their palace, their castle and they decorated it to the best of their ability. 